right and we are live hello everybody welcome to the harp meditation session my name is fiona kyle for those of you who don't know me and um, i'm really looking forward to doing this session today so um i hope everyone has got themselves in a comfortable space um preferably not doing anything any very strenuous like driving or doing something that requires concentration and um, so ideally if everyone can find a space in your home where which is comfortable either a chair or a sofa or even a bed if you want or if you're comfortable on the floor that's also fine wherever is good for you Sorry, that was my computer talking to me. Um, and um, if you can have some cushions to hand just to support your neck and under your knees, if that's comfortable, and a blanket to hand, because it can get quite chilly when we're doing meditation and you're lying still for quite a while. So, and also a glass of water, because sometimes you can get a little bit dry as well. It just rehydrates you once you've kind of woken up. So what's going to happen is I'm going to do um, take us into a nice meditation, go on a nice journey for around the next 30 minutes. And then after that, we'll have a little break and you can decide if you wish to stay or you have something else that you need to do. Um, you can leave the session if you wish. If you decide to stay, then I'm going to probably do around 20 minutes of just some nice slow tunes on the harps, nice slow airs. And I won't introduce these tunes. I'll just play them. And you can just listen and enjoy. So if you're already feeling relaxed, it will just increase the relaxation that you already have. So enjoy. I'm just gonna do a little bit of um, just checking to make sure that the harp is sounding in the right key. And um, I hope that sounds okay for everybody along with my voice as well. So, um, let's let's start. So I'd like you to welcome you to the Virtual Village Hall live harp meditation session. My name is Fiona and this is Charlotte Harp. And I'd like to welcome you into what I call my harp space which is the space that you and I are in together today. And it basically means that we are in this space together and the time is completely yours. So there shouldn't be any demands on your time at the moment. All that's required is that you can listen to the harp and to my voice and to just have this time for you to relax and have some needed space for yourself in what might be a very busy life. And even if today is not especially busy for you, it's still important that we all take time out for ourselves to relax and to have our time to do with what we wish. And I'd like to start by concentrating on the breath. Because this is something that we do subconsciously every day, every minute, every hour. We breathe because our body takes care of that for us. But when do we ever actually consciously think about our breathing and what it's doing and how fast we are breathing or how shallow we are breathing? Because perhaps we have so many other things that we have to focus on in our daily lives. 
So I'd like to start by inviting you to take a deep breath in through your nose and then breathe out through your mouth. And we're going to do this by counting in for five, holding it for five and then breathing out. So I'll try and do this as I'm talking at the same time. So we're going to breathe in for five. Holding it for five, one, two, three, four, five, and then breathing out. <sighs> That's too difficult, just concentrate on breathing in and out. So we're going to breathe in for five. Hold it for five. Breathe out. And we'll do that once again. So breathing in for five. And holding it. One, two, three, four, five. And then just breathing out. Now just breathe naturally, or as naturally as you can. And I often equate the breath with like the sea, like the comings and goings of the sea. So when you breathe in, and breathe out. It's kind of like the waves, the wave coming in and the wave going out. And sometimes I like to think about the breathing in as breathing in lovely, fresh air. And the breathing out is kind of getting rid of any tension that you might be feeling, anything that's on your mind. It's a chance to sort of breathe that out of your system. And we'll keep coming back to this um, throughout the meditation. So now just breathe as naturally as you can and just concentrate on feeling that breath, feeling the rhythm of that breath going in and out like the sea. And now I'd like to concentrate on relaxing the body because that's something that we always need to do before we can really relax into meditation. Because our bodies do much, so much for us, they hold so much tension and stress at times. So I'd like to start with the feet. And our feet are so important because they hold us. We walk on our feet a lot, depending on what kind of work we're doing. And I just like to think about the soles of your feet. I'm beginning to relax them, feeling them kind of loosen and tension eased. And then I'd like to think about the instep or the arches of your feet. Sometimes these can become really tense and painful, depending on what's going on with your feet. So it's nice to feel them, imagine them kind of relaxing and loosening off. And then I'd like to think about the heels and your ankles. And if you wish, you can move your ankles around in the circle if that's something that makes them feel more comfortable for you. And I should also say, at any point, if you feel that you need to move around in your space to get comfortable, please do that. Don't be lying 
still for all of this time if it means that you are uncomfortable in any way. And then I'd like to think about your toes and you can give them a little wiggle or a little shake around, just getting them loosened off. So we're now going to move up the leg, we're going to move up to the shins and the calves. Loosening them off. Moving them around. And then up to your knees. And then moving up into the thighs. And up into the hip bones. Imagining all these areas kind of loosening, relaxing, releasing. tension that might be there and then moving up into the stomach area the lower abdomen and feeling that kind of soften and imagining that your food from lunch is digesting to shoot Then moving up to the stomach area and up towards the rib cage and the diaphragm and again this is where we sometimes hold our tension where we're breathing faster so we're going to do a breathing exercise again so I'd like you to breathe through your nose for five one two three four five hold it for five one two three four, five, and then breathe out for five. And make the out breath as long as you possibly can and as hard as you want it to be if you have a lot of tension to push out. I'm just going to do that once more. So breathing in through your nose. Holding it for five. breathing out. And hopefully you should start to feel that diaphragm easing off. And then we're going to move up into the chest, into the heart area. Often we get butterflies when we're nervous or when we're tense or when we're excited. So just feeling that area kind of loosening off and Hopefully feeling a little bit less tense. And I'm going to move up towards the shoulders. Now you can give your shoulders a little shrug and just move them around and imagine them kind of dropping because we have our shoulders up to your ears quite often. And I'm very conscious as, as a heart player that I need to keep my shoulders relaxed. I'm very often concentrating and shoulders are at my ears. So just really relaxing those shoulders, loosening them off, giving them a little shrug or a little move around. And then we're going to move into the throat area and the neck. And again, just imagining that easing off and loosening off. And then we're moving up into the face area, so particularly into the jaw area and around the mouth and the tongue and your teeth. And if your jaw is clenching, be aware of that and try to let it loosen off and unclench. Something we all do when we're tense is, of, is to uh, clench our jaws. Moving up towards our cheekbones and our temples. And I also should mention that uh, you can close your eyes during this session too, which 
I didn't see at the beginning. If you find it's uncomfortable for you, just leave them open if that's what you would prefer. But it does help to relax more if your eyes are closed. So just closing your eyes and being aware of all the little bones around your eye socket that can be feel tense, especially when we've been looking at computer screens all day. So just closing your eyes and just allowing that curtain to close over, giving you even more opportunity to feel more relaxed. And moving up into the forehead, Imagining any kind of creases or lines or frown lines disappearing. And then moving up to the top of the head and to the scalp. And imagining all the bones of the scalp just softening and loosening. Coming down the back of your head, to the back of your skull, to the back of your neck. And also here we have the spine as well. And that can be a source of great pain for a lot of people, the back. So really trying to imagine that loosening off and any tension beginning to ease in that area. Our vertebrae is what support our back and all the muscles alongside so it's just trying to imagine everything, feeling that relaxation kind of slowly filling your back area and allowing it to feel easier and less painful. And we're coming all the way down the vertebrae. all the way down to the base of your spine. And moving down the backs of your legs. And kind of feeling that relaxation kind of wrap around your calves, your heels, and back up to the tops of your feet. And then just remembering to relax our arms and our hands as well, as we use our hands for so many things. Our wrists, our elbows, our fingers, our knuckles, and the very tips of our fingers. And now that our bodies are relaxed and everyone is comfortable, we need to think about relaxing the mind as well because our minds and our bodies are very much connected. And it's very common in relaxation sessions that our minds will wander off and think about what we might be having for dinner or what the next task is that we have to do once we complete this relaxation session. So it's quite important that we, if we do start to wander off, your mind does wander off, that you just bring it back to the sound of the harp and my voice. And we're just going to do the breathing again. So I'd like you to breathe in through your nose again. And breathe out. Do that one more time. So breathing in through your nose again. And breathing out. And you will have 
thoughts that come and go in your mind right now. You'll be thinking about what might be happening for the rest of the day or what you have to do tomorrow. So just try, if you can, and just imagine those thoughts. Just acknowledge that they're there, but try not to focus on them. Try and imagine like you're just moving them away, like you're swiping on your iPhone, as sometimes you do to delete things. sometimes you can imagine that the thoughts are little leaves fluttering in the wind. So you can put your thought on a leaf and imagine it just drifting away. It could just be a word. Just like the leaves are floating around outside at the moment in the wind. Just imagine all those thoughts, putting them onto a leaf and letting the leaf float away. So now we're going to go on a little journey together, as I like to do. And because we are into autumn, I felt that we should have an autumnal kind of theme to this session. So I'd like you to imagine that you're standing in a forest. And it's a beautiful autumn day. There is some sunshine around. And you can feel the warmth of the sun on your face. But there's also that autumnal smell of wood smoke in the air and it's perhaps a little bit colder than it has been of late. You can definitely feel that fresh autumnal breeze on your face as you stand and take in your surroundings. And all around you there are trees and as you begin to walk down a path of your choosing. It can be a stone path, it can be a, a grassy path, it can be full of earth. And underfoot you can feel and you can hear the crunch of leaves. Because there's lots of them and they provide such a nice carpet for you to walk on as you're walking down the path. the leaves are crunching under your feet and they make this lovely soft crackling kind of sound and the colours are all the autumnal colours that you could imagine rusts, reds, oranges, hints of green And as you're walking down this carpeted path, you sense and can often feel that there has been rain in the air. You can see the sparkle of the sunlight and the rain on the leaves. And there's a definitely a smell of after the rain has fallen in the forest. And you can even hear the little drips 
of the rain falling off the trees as you walk. As you progress along this beautifully carpeted path, you can hear a little stream. And for a moment you find yourself a nice wood log to sit. And just look at the water. And again, like the thoughts you can see lots of little leaves and twigs floating in the stream and you can just sit for a few moments and watch these float past because they don't have a care in the world they just float so you can you can imagine that your thoughts coming into your head can float like these trees, sorry, leaves and twigs. And just take a moment to listen what's around you in the forest. Apart from the gentle rain falling on the trees, you can also hear the remnants of birdsong and maybe even some geese in the distance. And I think autumn is such a beautiful season for change and that preparation before everyone hibernates for the winter time. So it's just about appreciating the beautiful freshness of the forest. And so you stand up and continue your walk down this beautifully carpeted path. And it's a very gentle path. There's no steep hills or steep drops. It's just very easy to walk upon. a few conquerors lying around on the path and there are just loads of different trees lots of different woods beaches and sycamores and some fir trees and just any kind of tree you can imagine and as you continue walking on the path you notice ahead of you that there is something glinting in the sunshine and you kind of wonder what that might be. And as you get closer, you see that there are some wooden steps ahead of you. Again, they're very safe and there's lots of places to hold on to. And so you climb the steps and you find yourself looking directly at a tree house which has been beautifully crafted by someone very talented or perhaps a team of very talented people and the tree house has obviously the wood but also there is surrounded by glass and when you enter it it is cozy and warm from the daily sun And when you close the door, the chill of the autumn day disappears and you are surrounded by the warmth of the sun. And 
at this point you decide you're going to take your shoes and socks off and you're actually going to walk across the wooden floor which is warm under your feet now there are several rugs on the floor and you find in the middle of the room that there is a huge chair bigger than an armchair but not as big as a sofa but kind of made out of wood wood from the trees and on the chair there are hundreds of big comfortable cushions and there's blankets throws fleecy throws any kind of blanket you can imagine and so you settle yourself in this space and get yourself really comfortable and what's really amazing about this is that the tree house is at such a level that you can see all the leaves in the trees and you can see all the colors and you can see the sunshine and you can see the droplets of water that are on the leaves as they fall. And so you decide that you're just going to take a little bit of time here just to, to rest and feel the warmth of the sun and get the warmth from the blankets there underneath you. And so I'm just going to take a minute or so just to be quiet and let you sit in this cosy space that smells of wood and wood smoke and the smell of the trees and the smell of the rain.
house around you again and you notice that the day has gently drifted on as you've been resting and it's starting to get a little bit darker than it was and as you emerge from the comfort of the treehouse you descend a lovely path at the other side of the treehouse this time which is like a wooden path and you realise how high up you have been. And as you come down into the forest again, you notice that more rain is gently falling. As you descend, and you can hear the pitcher patter of the rain. And it falls onto your face and it just feels very refreshing. And you realise how cleansing it is to be walking in this beautiful natural space. And you start to gently make your way, way back along the path that you came upon. The leaves slightly less crunchy now that it's rained, but the carpet is still soft under your feet. And there's just that lovely beginnings of twilight as you walk along the path. The sky is starting to get a little bit darker the remnants of a sunset. And it started to become almost that midnight blue color that the sky becomes before it gets really dark. And now you can start to let the images of the forest gently fade the distance and start to become more aware of the surroundings where you are in. I would ask that you just make very small movements just flexing your fingers and your toes and then starting to just gently stretch your body, stretch out your legs and your arms. And just take your time with this. Because you've been lying down for a little while. So you don't want to get up too quickly. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. And just gently stretch. And 
very slowly. Sit up. And place your feet on the ground if they've not been there already. And then take a little sip of water if you wish. Just take a few moments to adjust to being back in your surroundings. And if you're listening to this in your bed, for example, if you're listening on catch up, this is the point where if you wish to just drift off to sleep, please do. And for the rest of you, you can continue to sit in your space and just relax. I'm going to change the key of the harp so that I can play some nice relaxing tunes for you. Obviously, if you need to leave at this point, it's been lovely to have you. I will just be a wee second. Just enjoy the silence for a moment. So I'm now going to play a few slow airs for you.
Well, everybody, I hope you've had a nice relaxing session today and I hope that you can go off into the afternoon and the evening and keep that relaxation with you. And if you get a chance today or tomorrow, get a little walk out in nature and just see how it how it feels and how beneficial it is. So I'm now going to close the session. I want to thank uh, Victoria for being my co-host and the Virtual Village Hall for having me. And I will be back in November um, with some uh, St Andrew's tunes for you. So very much looking forward to that. So take care, everyone. Much love from Fiona, myself, Charlotte Harp, and uh, Guy Douglas, who is hibernating somewhere. Take care. Bye for now.